was a beautiful Saturday today. Morning, we had students in the car, they went to the youth college for the assignment works and all the stuff came out here. Of course, Janakesha was on leave, but I could get organized. Lugaba went to the market in Yerahanka to pick up three vegetables along with two of Narayan workers. And all others were over here. We did a wonderful job of planting. You no, know, we first put the um, rainwater harvesting buns and then Sandeep came, we took this uh, grass cutting machine and I used the grass cutting machine. Terrible pain I rushed inside and put some Omni gel. Again I went, second round again I did it. One more round of massive pain. They massaged and they put like my Omni gel. And the third round I took the tractor, the handheld tractor and Sanjeev was doing that. We need the tractor to loosen up the mud so that we can create the bun. And then Sandeep almost trimmed the whole, whole ashram, almost all the grass was over. Then I rushed him to put up this, um, no, we went to the, uh, post lunch, I went to the um, temple, uh, Gomada Devi temple. We cleaned up last workers to a very beautiful Oh, they, they, they had the waxing done on the, every plant so beautiful, you could see almost all the plants like beautiful, trimmed it up. And on the other side, where grass is going, removed the total grass, brought the uh, tractor and plowed it up and we planted uh, tomatoes, green chilies and uh, seven to one flower. And then I came running back to the day. It was already by the time four, four fifteen. We rushed away. I saw the Australian tea ray. That is very powerful, very, very medicine, very healthy one. I trimmed it up and we planted around 20, 25 of them. Then I saw the Amurtha Valley. Then we again planted it up. The school was very, very healthy, very nice day today. And the whole area was very neat and clean. Then Bhavya came from Poskote with the parents. They brought a lot of masalas. And then I'm here. This after the bath, no zero body pain. <laughs> Chandra Shekhar's Asad, born on 23rd July 1906. In Ali Rajpur state, died on 27th February 1931 in Allahabad. Popularly known as Chandra Shekhar Asad was an Indian revolutionary who reorganized the Hindustan Republican Association. Chandrasekhar Asa said, if your blood does not rage, then it is water that flows in your way. Very close to what Swami Vivendra said, people are walking like dead bodies. No life energy in that. If your blood does not rage, if you do not have the feeling if you do not have feel, smell, taste, touch, and see of yourself. If you don't feel that five sense organs are connected to your samskriti, to your family, then you are not a man. It's water. It is it's liquor which is flowing in your blood. You are a drunkard. You are drunk. You are not literate. You have to be cleaned. What's wrong? Chandra Shikra said, if the blood does not reach, then it is water that flows in your vein. In Karnataka, in my Bangalore, everybody talks. Water means Niru. Niru means water. Water means liquor. <laughs> it's a liquor. Borrowed knowledge is make, made you are more pretty. Your family is destroyed. You don't have a connecting link to your joint family. You, do, you don't even think of your family tree. Then who are you? Just a robot, a dead man. Tell no tales. Knock your door. Jesus Christ said, knock and the door shall be opened. What's wrong? Why can't you knock your door? Knock your sanskriti. 
Let it awake, arise, and stop not till you reach the goal. And what is the goal? To understand your beauty, to understand your truth, to see the God in you. Then who dare stops you? Chandrasekhar, if your blood does not reach, then it is water that flows in your vein. Go back to your Sanskriti practice. Your Sanskriti. Collect the rainwater in this rainy season. Collect as much as possible in your land. Convert into groundwater recharging. Then drip it up. You have enough water for another three years. Convert the houses into solar, then you are a man. Then we can know that you are connected to your Sanskrit. You are not a dead man. All your literacy is humbug, cheat. It's going a ring, a ring, a roses, pocket full of roses, hacha, pucha, all fell down. You are going round and around, and people are making you going round, and you are cheating. You are rich, you are powerful, sitting in a jail kind of a house called mansion. Apartments, prison hold apartments, they made you nobody come out. Let your blood rage to connect back to your Sanskriti, to your family. Open our hearts and your hands wide open. And have a bear hug with your wife and your children and your parents. Sit in the same plate and eat. You can find out the power. Take baths together. You can see the power. Hug your trees. Plant new trees for the future generations. When you have your family tree and your joint family. You have created the first pyramid as a nationalist. Then you can call it as motherland. Then you can call it as Pumya Bhumi. Then you can call it a Rama Rajya. Till then you have no right to even open your mouth. Like in the Jewish tradition they say, they won't even have the right to say God. Nobody has got the right to say God. They won't say God. They say G-D. The to fill up the O, you have to be spiritual means you have to be connected to your Sanskriti. You have practiced a thousand times in your Sanskriti. Your name itself is Sanskriti. Who dare practice you? When you are deeply involved in your Sanskriti, it becomes organic. No disease dare touch you. There won't be devils and robbers around you. Years, decades and decades, centuries and centuries. You will have a peaceful growth, a beautiful growth, which has got a Bible, which has got a Quran, it's got a Bhagavad Gita, which is written 90,000 years back, at least a thousand years of beautiful history. Living all that, what Jiddu Krishna would be said. When you lose the deep intimate relationship with the nature, when one loses deep intimate relationship with the nature, when you one loses deep intimate relationship with your Sanskriti, with your family, then you are after a devil. Then temples and churches and churches become important. Manipur hospital, for this hospital became important. Dogs and cheats becomes important for you. You are drinking and eating poison every day in the name of avoiding diseases, in the name of health. Come out of there, it is possible. I am giving you, it's possible. I am giving you this challenge. It is possible. Come join me. Come with me. Nobody will touch you. Come with me. Join in this struggle. To stabilize this world of beautiful world, and you can be a hundred percent assured that you are with God and truth and the nature. Why are you fighting? Why are you sitting under the cot? You are thinking you are a member of the Lions Club, you are a lion. 
A lion sitting under the cot is rat, not a lion. Come out of it. Together we can make this land a beautiful land. Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. Let your blood boil. Come with me. Thank you.